Welcome to your new state-of-the-art electronically controlled American-made train fan coil unit. This unit is designed to provide energy efficient heating and cooling comfort year-round and meets all current energy codes. When the fan is on, air is drawn into the bottom of the unit, heated or cooled, depending on the season, and discharged into the room. In order to heat or cool your space, two things happen. The water control valve in the unit opens to let chilled or hot water in, and the fan turns on. The unit is controlled by the digital thermostat, which is located under the tabbed panel on the top left or right of the unit. When you look at your thermostat, you will see the current room temperature and the operating mode for the fan. The fan has three operating modes, auto, manual, and off. When the fan is in the auto mode, it says auto to the left of the fan icon. In the off mode, you will see this, just the outline of the fan icon and the three fan speed arrows. Notice how the screen brightens when you change the settings. In the manual mode, the fan icon is dark and you will see the fan icon with either one, two, or three arrows to the right. Cooperators who lived in Penn South before the HVAC project was begun will recall that the older fan coil units had just an on-off switch for the fan. You could adjust the fan to low, medium, or high, but there was no temperature control. Water was circulating in the units at all times, either hot water in the fall and winter, or chilled water in the summer. This is not the case with the new units. When your unit is in the off mode, the fan will not run and the water control valve will be closed. This means there will be no heat or cooling supplied. If the unit is off, let's turn it to auto mode. We press the center button once and then the left arrow one time. Now wait five seconds. The unit is now in auto mode. When in the auto mode, the unit will automatically control the speed of the fan depending on the desired room temperature. What is the desired room temperature? This is the temperature you select using the up and down arrows on the thermostat. Each time an arrow is pushed, the set temperature rises or drops one degree and the result is displayed. For a cooler room, lower the desired temperature. For a warmer room, simply raise the desired temperature. Remember that to change the temperature in the room, you must select one that is higher or lower than the room temperature. Auto mode will control the fan speed in the most efficient manner to achieve and maintain the room temperature that you select. It is recommended that the unit be left in auto mode at all times. We have seen off and auto modes. Now let's look at the manual mode. Simply press the center button to enter the fan setting mode. There are five icons which can be selected using the right and left buttons. From left to right, they are auto, off, and the three manual speeds, low, medium, and high. Finally, please note that because these units are electronically controlled, there is a five to 10 second delay between the time you make a change to the thermostat setting and the unit responding to that change. A few recommendations. Please do not place furniture or other objects directly in front of the unit as the air intake at the bottom would be blocked and your unit's ability to heat or cool would be greatly diminished. For the same reason, Please do not place objects on the discharge air grill. Please do not place plants on the units. If water were to spill into the cabinet, damage to the electronics could result. Please do not paint the units. And remember, the heating season is typically October 1st to May 15th, and cooling season from the beginning of June through September. If you experience problems with your fan coil unit, please do not attempt to fix it yourself. Call the HVAC or the maintenance office and a trained maintenance person will be sent to resolve your problem.
We hope you get many years of comfort from your new fan coil unit.